Hey folks, it's your girl, Lexi Mahari, back with another episode of Buzzworthy Chit Chat. And in this episode, we are going to dive into the upcoming Janet Jackson documentary that will air later this month on Lifetime and A&E. Let's chat. Welcome back to another episode of Buzzworthy Chit Chat. Before we dive into this episode, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Folks, I am here today to talk about the Janet Jackson premiere documentary that is set to air on January 28th on Lifetime and A&E. It's going to be a two-night event that's encouraging. I think it it equates out to be four hours. Um, I am encouraged by hearing that we're going to have a two night event, particularly because Lifetime is known to unfortunately rush through stories, right? So I am hopeful that we are really going to get some insight into Janet Jackson's career and her life. Um, You know, for those of you who are like me, who have been fans of her for eons, who came up with Janet Jackson, so to speak, you know that she has always been a very private person. I mean, this is the woman who was married for nine or 10 years and nobody in the public, at least, had any awareness that she was married until she was getting divorced. Uh, So she has always been um, very private, you know, with reason to be. Uh, So I am looking forward to us learning more about, you know, her perspective as an artist who had immense success uh, for 30 plus years in the industry. Um, I think they said it's been 40 years since her first album was released. Um, So we'll get to hopefully hear about that. We obviously will get to get some insight into, you know, how she felt maybe as being an actress. She came up through the ranks um, on starting out with good times. We saw her on different strokes and fame And then, of course, she's done several movies, uh, most notably Poetic Justice, uh, Why Did I Get Married? She's done, you know, multiple projects uh, over the years that demonstrate her talent as an actress and then also her talent as a singer, as a performer, I should say. Of course, people will criticize Janet and say, well, she's not the best singer ever, but we all can't have the voice, right? You know, sometimes people have their own unique talent. And so Janet Jackson was her own box o talent right but you could always count on her for a performance right whenever you saw janet jackson was on the roster to perform on an awards show she was going to give that performance it's like if you see beyonce is in the list of performers you're expecting a performance so that's what i'm looking forward to hearing her talk about her career as an actress her career as a musician and i want her to you know talk about those personal relationships you know she was married to james debarge for a hot minute as a young woman a a teenager um we know that from there apparently she was married to renee and then um you know she also was married to the billionaire from qatar so looking to hear more about that relationship Uh, we know that she was with jermaine dupree for quite some time I don't think they got married, but that would be interesting for her to talk about that. Uh, There's always been rumors out there that she had a child somewhere, you know, long before she had her son. There used to be rumors that she had this child out there. So wouldn't that be interesting for her to address that rumor head on in her documentary? Uh, I've mentioned that I am encouraged that this documentary is going to happen over a two night period um, because, again, you know, they're, they're hopefully not rushing it. They have been working on this for five years. So hopefully they have really taken the time to sift through all of those crazy rumors that we used to hear about Janet Jackson uh, so that she can address them. Um, you know, I mentioned relationships. I'm going to back up a minute. Um, I don't know if any of you watched the Being Bobby Brown uh movie that aired on BET networks, you know, in that movie, he alleged that he and Janet Jackson apparently had some sort of a relationship. Um, but it did not obviously did not work out. So it'll be interesting if she addresses that at all. She may just kind of let that roll right off her back. 
you know, we'll, we'll see how that all goes down. But um, hey, it would be cool to hear about that as well if she does choose to talk about it. Um, she, in the promos that we have seen, she is clearly going to be asked to speak on um, how she felt about the Michael Jackson rumors. You know, there were all kinds of allegations about Michael Jackson and children, and I'll leave it there. Uh, you can do the research on that yourself if you're not familiar with it. And but for those of you who were around at that time, you definitely recall a lot of the allegations that were out against him in the early 90s. And then, of course, things that just kind of haunted him until the day he died, uh, things that they were claiming he's done. And even since his death, unfortunately, uh, accusations that have been made against him. And so she's going to get to speak on maybe how she felt about that. Um, I don't know if she'll address what she did or didn't believe, but I, I know that she addresses uh, how she was treated as a result of the rumors against her brother or about her brother. So that'll be interesting to hear her speak on that as well. Um, we'll get to get some insight into her relationship with her parents. You know, Joe Jackson was notoriously known as being a strict disciplinarian when it came to his sons. And so it will be interesting to hear how he treated Janet. You know, she was a girl. She was the youngest girl. Um, I think she was the baby in the family. So it'll be interesting to hear if his strict disciplinary um, qualities transferred over to her as well. So I am hoping also that she will address the Super Bowl um, situation. And, and I say that with some hesitation, I feel like she can't really get around it because it was such a big to do in her lifetime for her. And, um, you know, but I feel like she almost has to address it. You know, they recently aired the FX Hulu uh, feature about it in which they focused on the Super Bowl halftime um, event between her and Justin Timberlake and what transpired. And we got some different stories about what is perceived to have happened. We have MTV absolving themselves of any knowledge that that was going to happen because they had, you know, warned against doing anything similar to it. Uh, we've got, um, Folks saying that Justin was not aware that this is what they were going to do until he got there. And they walked, they, I guess they did like a walkthrough of what he was going to do. And then he did it. And then we have some information that came out after the documentary from, I believe he was either a wardrobe person or a stylist or someone who was responsible for buying the brassiere beneath the, the costume that she wore, in which he is saying that that had always been the plan, that people had known, and that what was supposed to happen was that the lights were supposed to be dimmed just as the stunt was executed. So it would be great to hear from Janet, you know, hey, this is what was supposed to happen. You know, if she's culpable in any way, for me personally, as a lifelong fan, I really don't care. I mean, it happened, it happened. Um, but I am definitely curious to hear her perspective on things uh, as it relates to that incident. So please let me know your thoughts. What do you want to hear from Janet Jackson, um, you know, about her career, about her life, about the Super Bowl performance that we just talked about? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. Well, folks, that's it for today's episode of Buzzworthy Chit Chat. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Before we go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.